To you, but I really, really shouldn't be here. Someone get that, please. Sure, about the minute. We were busy. Yeah, we all need our peace of sleep. What the bloody hell do you think you're doing? I know, we just think that the lead fell out when she turned over us. Oh, sorry. Doctor, seeing that you're already up, I've got Mr. Jones. He needs some paracetamol prescribing. Oh, and bed three is Van Flon's t-shirt again. He's an IVDU, so... Great. Any chance for coffee? The kitchen's over there. We're out of milk. Twenty-six. You look like you're thirty-five. Yeah, well, at least you don't have to put up with his sister. I can handle attitude from the eye candy, but little Miss Perfect, any chance of a coffee? Like, we don't have enough to do. And you must have seen the way he covers for her. Perfect, she called me. Who? That night sister, Elvira. Oh, apparently I also have an attitude. Not freaky Frida, patchouli with a side order of B.O. Wouldn't sweat it. She hates anything with a stethoscope. Mm. What you did to rattle her cage, anyway? Bay three. Bogus crash call, 5 a.m. The patient was asleep. Crazy. She said I lean on you. You lean on me, I lean on you. We're a fully functioning mutual support network. Yeah, we're looking good. I just don't think that I can do this anymore. I'm getting that message. No, not us. This. All of this crap. They're right. The goth witch and her coven, Elliot, all of them. I shouldn't be here. I can't handle it. <laughs> I've been here God knows how long, and I can't even put in a simple cannula without messing it up. <laughs> 